Hello friend, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn how uh, how selector sub helps in error handling, and this is really important and helps you a lot in learning as well as time saving and effort. So, uh, when you write anything wrong, wrong X path or wrong selectors, there is nothing like there is no tool or anything like in Chrome Dev Tools if you uh, or in Browser Dev Tools if you type wrong syntax, then it will never let you know that whether your X path is right or wrong. Suppose you have uh, pasted this X path here, and it's, if you miss something out there, you will never be able to understand that what is missing in your X path easily. Suppose this is here one, it is finding one matching node and something missing is here. Now it's showing zero of zero. But can you make sure that this is actually zero of zero or something is missing in your X path? How we will get to know? So let's copy this X path and paste it here in selector sub. See, selector sub immediately tells you that close square bracket is missing. So now we can see that where it is missing, here it is missing. We can type that and press enter. So this is how it helps you a lot like in uh, while debugging, if you do anything, anything wrong in your uh, selector. Suppose here, this is the X path which we have written. Now suppose if we did anything wrong here, it will tell you that what is missing, what is allowed, what is not allowed. Add tag name after forward slash. So it is helping you. Basically, this is an X path guide or you can say X path teacher, which is helping you to learn uh, about selectors, what's wrong, what's not wrong, what is possible, what is not possible. You see that it helps you to learn th those things. While uh, like there is no way that you which will help you to learn these things. So this feature is really helps you a lot in while debugging, as well as if you are a fresher or someone new in selectors then you would be able to learn those new uh, things that what is allowed, what is not allowed. If you're writing like CSS selector you have written and if you missed anything, if you have written anything, then it will tell you that what is not allowed in CSS selector. So that way you would be able to learn new things. And if you want to learn more more about it, there's a, uh, if you, you can click here, it will take you to that page where it has, uh, I have mentioned all these functions of XPath and CSS selectors and more I will keep on updating about errors and everything here so that you can read it read out here so this way it will help you a lot this feature helps you a lot in learning as well as understanding about uh, x path so uh, thank you for watching and i would request you please subscribe to the channel and let me know like if you have any thought in in the comment section and do like the video and share it with everyone it will help you a lot it helps it will help community as well please share selectors up because many people are not yet aware about this innovation so yeah thank you